Hey everyone, it is Matt, ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel, and this is my least favorite video of the year. Not the best way to promote a video, but nevertheless, it's always controversial and polarizing. But as always, as every year, Team United got together, the folks here locally in Liverpool, all six of us sat down and tried to come up with a ranking. Who will come first uh, tomorrow? and who will come last, and of course, everything in between. We all had our own rankings, I combined them, and I'm ready to present them to you. Keep in mind, this is not personal taste, it's actually predictions. Somebody has to come last, somebody has to come 20th place, and so on. So don't take it personally, and I will tell you right now, if you attack any of our members or any of the artists because you don't agree with the results or you're upset that your favorite is not as high, I will delete those comments because this is we have nothing but love and respect, but somebody has to, you know, we have to rank them somehow. There will be a result. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm going to jump right into it. We'll start uh, from last place and work our way down all the way to the top. So the country that our group has put into 26th place, also known as the last place, is Port I'm sorry, Poland. It was a different poor. <laughs> Poland, actually. Um, I personally don't think it's going to be last. There's too much televote support, friendly vote that Poland will get. But basically, once you average it out, just other songs had more of a polarizing effect, while most people believe Poland's going to be in the lower half of the scoreboard, the second side. And when you average it out, it just ended up in last place. So it is the average there for our last place. I still don't think that's where Poland will end up ultimately. Then in 25th place, we are putting Switzerland. And I'm the only person on the team actually believes that Switzerland will be in the top 20. The rest of the team thinks it will be actually not going to make it, and therefore the score is a little low. So once again, I disagree. I think Watergun has a good chance of doing well with the juries to a certain extent. And I'm not even discounting the televote either. Not the greatest running order, but it's not going to completely flop in my view. But 25th based to our predictions overall. Then in 24th place, our team is putting Albania. I kind of agree with that ranking. That's kind of where I put them as well. But there are two individuals who also think that this will be a midfield kind of outcome for Albania, which would be a nice and happy, pleasant surprise. But when C averages out, 24th is what we believe as a team overall. Then in 23rd place, we are putting Portugal, which really just it pains me to put them this low. I I see though what the team is saying and I kind of agree with that. I do have this really bad feeling because I love that song bits. But the way it's been put in the second running order and the way it has been discussed in the past, it feels as it is just not going to be enough and overshadowed by some of the other upbeat songs. I hope I'm wrong, but it's just an inkling and if Mimi Cat can prove us wrong, I would be so happy. But based on this, this is our ranking 23rd for Portugal. Then in 22nd place, Moldova. And I also don't agree with that ranking. I easily think that this will be in the top 20 somewhere. The unfortunate part is for Moldova is nobody believes it's going to be on the left side of the scoreboard. And when you average it out, it just dropped so much because a lot of the other songs are a little bit more polarizing where some people put it higher and some really low. Here, it seems to be kind of mashing around between 14th to 23rd place or something like that. And when you average it out, this is just where Moldova ended up in our ranking. I still believe it's going to be higher, but there you have it. Our ranking for now, our prediction. Then in 21st place, we are putting the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom, unfortunately, has lost a little bit of confidence within our team based on what we've seen, and hopefully we've proven wrong. The last few performances were just middle of the road at best, vocally. It's still visually stunning, great running order, so I don't think it's going to be completely last place or anything. At the same time, our team just doesn't feel as confident about it anymore, and that's probably why it ended lower than I thought it would be, uh, before we arrived here in Liverpool. So sucks it would be the lowest placed direct qualifier which is still good considering you know the direct qualifier are bringing quality this year then in 20th place we are putting based on the average prediction it's serbia and i once again disagree with the team here overall i think serbia is going to be higher than that um but a lot of people think it's not even going to make the top 20 which is insane i put it the highest serbia so i brought up the average a little bit Serbia will just get a decent amount just alone from the televote. Several 12, 10 pointers are expected for Luke. So um, I can see an easy, an, a 12th place with the televoters and that alone will bring him up. 
um, but the team brought down the average there for 20th place for Serbia based to our predictions. I will also provide a breakout later on once we have the results and see who did the best, who did the worst, etc. Now in 19th place, we are putting Estonia. I do think that Estonia has a pretty good case to make about getting jury support and televote. I mean, she survived the televote as well. At the same time, there are so many tele uh, jury pleasers out there that I feel are a little bit more significant. So that's why I also kind of agree with the outcome here. That's kind of where I put Estonia. They may be in for a surprise, but based on our prediction, that's what it is. Then in 18th place, it's Czech Czechia. I still want to say Czech Republic. Jesus Christ. Um, I once again low-key agree with this ranking, actually. That's kind of where I have them as well. They again got the least ideal running order, getting going first in the second half right after um, Finland, the big number, and then right before Australia, another very memorable staging. I'm worried they're gonna get drowned a little bit because of that. Still would be a great result for Czech Republic, making the you know finals and a decent result. I'm hoping for more, but this is just a hunch. This is just a hunch. Then in 17th place, it's Cyprus. We do believe, and I once again kind of agree with this ranking as well, that Cyprus is a nice song, very well performed, but I'm worried it's going to be in a lot of like buckets and not love buckets, and people will like it very much, but since Televote doesn't have a ranking and you only vote for your favorites, this could maybe suffer, especially with the running order that it's in. But he did so well, he did so well, so I don't want him to flop. But yeah, somebody, you know, they gotta land somewhere. Then in 16th place, we are putting Germany. And I think that is a reasonable uh, prediction there. I do think that Germany has the potential to go really high in the televote. And a couple of us even think that they may be in the top 10. And I took a little bit more of a daring choice here. But I agree, 16 seems a fairly reasonable ranking based on my observation. But I would not be surprised if Germany actually cracks uh, or makes its way to the left side of the scoreboard in the end. Then the country we are predicting to finish in 15th place is the opening song, Austria. I think some of us already decided, you know, once they were put number one, clearly they probably didn't do as well in the semis as we um, thought they would. Now we're being told that the producers do not know the actual uh, results of the semis, but it seems odd that they will be put them first. So I think they will be more mid-table. I think I put them in 14th overall, so 15th place seems, seems quite legit to me. So that's where we have it. Number 14 is Lithuania. According to our predictions, I actually took a risk. Also, three of us did took a risk. I'm surprised, actually. I could see Lithuania breaking into the top 10, actually, if things play out for them. I can see the jury's really liking this one. It has a good running order, and it's one of the few fl slower songs, the only slower song closer to the end of the um, show. So I think she's pr pretty good situated. So 14th place. Seems like something very feasible and believable. So 14th place for Lithuania based on our predictions. Then in 13th place, Belgium. And that is higher than I expected. I think I put it the lowest in my predictions. I'm still hesitant to believe that the song that has the very 90s retro feel will work for a lot of people that are not into this particular style and genre. Two of our members actually believe it's going to be in the top 10, and that helps the average. So overall, 13th place, I think it'll be lower. I could, sh prove me wrong, Belgium. I want to be proven wrong. Then in 12th place, Croatia. So certainly much better than a lot of people thought initially when Croatia released their song. I'm very happy to see that they may be outperforming a lot of expectations. Listen, I actually think Romania could e uh, Romania, Croatia could actually easily crack into the top 10 and that's where I put them. We have actually three members who believe they will be in the top 10 while some people believe it will be as low as 20th. So there's a lot of discrepancy. So when you average it out 12th place, it would be already a great result for the country, but this could go quite big in the televote. And I mentally prepare myself for that and so should you. So 12th place based on our predictions for right now. Who's in 11th place? According to our predictions, Ukraine. Ukraine 
I mean, they always do well. They have fantastic staging, a good song. You can always throw the, will people still give them votes because of the war in, in with Russia? So we don't know, but I do think that this is absolutely um, a lower score. And I would say they are very likely in the top 10 on Saturday. I feel they could go really high top five. I'm the one who puts it the highest. So 11th place is fine, but I think top 10 is likely for Ukraine in my book. But let's talk about the top 10 according to our predictions and see what your thoughts are. The country we are putting in 10th place based on our predictions, Italy. Italy, Marco Mangoni will once again make it into the top 10. If you believe our predictions, two of us believe that it'll actually be in the top 10. I actually have it also right at the cusp, like just inside the top 10 or just outside. I do think that Marco's song, and Italy always struggles with the juries, it seems, but this one might have some jury appeal, even though it's a tad nostalgic, but also could get a decent amount of points from the televoters. I just don't think it's going to be the favorite for either group. So I think a top 10 is quite likely, and that's where we put them. In ninth place, France. And France is a big question mark. France is such, for me at least, like a back and forth, are they gonna do well or not? I'm more hopeful for the juries than the televote at this point. Our team is a little divided, um, ranking them from as high as third to as low as 19th place. It's a big mess. Nobody knows what to do, do with France, which makes it so fun and so unpredictable for them. But when you combine it, we still believe France will be in the top 10, ninth place. It is. And then our eighth place, Armenia. Armenia may have another great result, the best result in several years. If you can believe our predictions in eighth place, let me take a look. I don't even remember what I did. Oh yeah, I, actually I did put it a little lower and I'm regretting that already. I, I put it like in 12th place. I think Armenia could go big with both groups, but especially with the juries. So I think I agree more with the eighth place than with my own ranking I did a few hours ago. That's how quickly I changed my mind about Armenia, but it's too late, especially after watching the jury show. It f the flow was just so right. So I'm glad at least we have it in the top 10 Armenia based on our prediction, which would be a great and wonderful result for the country. Um, so you go, Burnett. And then number seven in our predictions, Israel. Certainly made its way up quite a bit over the last few weeks, especially since rehearsals after we've seen everything. It's well situated with a great running order. I think this Israel definitely has even a shot at making the top five. So um, I think seven is fair. So yep, there you have it, nothing else to add. Uh, the country we think will finish in sixth place is Slovenia. And we talked about it before, Slovenia has the potential to become a summer hit. I know that they will have an English version that can release worldwide, and I think it's gonna be a big hit across the country, uh, not the country, the continent and the world, and could potentially bring Slovenia as one of better results, potentially even uh, bring home the best result to date. If you can believe our prediction, sixth place would be the best result, best ranking for Slovenia. So uh, good luck, Slovenia, we believe in you. Then in fifth place, Norway. Norway always has been a very popular song and high up in our predictions, and that has not changed. Some people were worried about the jury performance, but nevertheless, we do think Norway is going to go big. It's just a catchy modern song that just screams success, and uh, therefore is our fifth place based on our predictions. Number four, it's getting exciting. Who was our number four? I was a bit surprised, uh, pleasantly surprised though. It's Australia. Australia, just a fantastic song, rock medley sound, and I'm very much into it, the song as well. But putting that aside, everyone on our team thinks that Australia at a bare minimum will be in the top 10. And even though the best, it's all between fourth and 10th place, but since we all agree it's going to be in the top 10, once you average it out, it's gonna beat a lot of the other countries uh, that we had disagreements on. We all agree this is gonna do well and be in the top 10. So the average puts them in fourth place. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be the second best result at the contest, right? I would be okay with that. Then let's see who is in our top three and who is left. So the country that we actually put in third place in our predictions is Spain. And a similar thing, most of us think that Spain will be in the top 10, somewhere between third and eighth place. One person thinks it's gonna be just outside the top 10, but when combined, Blanca Paloma should expect a really good result. I agree with that as well. I had it like slightly lower 
um, I think sixth place, only because I am certain, almost certain, that Spain will do really, really, really well with the juries. I'm just not quite as confident with the televoters, so that's why I put it a little lower than third place. But once again, this is the average, and the average says Spain third place. That means we only got two countries left, and you, I'm sure you know which one we're talking about. So who will get our number one? Who do we think will win Eurovision 2023? It was insanely close. It was initially a tie and then a tiebreaker had to be applied, but then some votes had changed. So ultimately, between Finland and Sweden, the two countries, the betting odds believe one of them will win. I think as of right now, we believe that is actually accurate. So Team United believes the winner of the Eurovision Song Contest 2023 is Sweden. So it was close and we are, none of us is really sure because it could go either way, but we do think that Sweden just, I think their odds are just, it just, it just looks better for them. I think I'm very concerned about the, the juries with Finland and they also have a good amount of competition, even with the televote. And you can make the similar case for Sweden, but I think just Sweden's, I don't think she's going to be a landslide in televote and jury, that kind of thing. She's not going to be the Salvador Sobral, but I do think that she could easily uh, get like first, second or second, third and still win it all because there will be, I think, a good amount of disagreements between juries and televoters this year in particular. And she could be the one that gets good results from both groups and ultimately ends up on top. It was not close. All six of us believe Sweden or Finland will be the top two. So some of us said Finland will first, will be first, and Sweden was second, and then vice versa. Ultimately, Sweden just by a little bit gets, you know, ahead and wins our prediction. So Sweden will win Eurovision 2023 if you can believe our predictions with Finland a fantastic second place. Once again, this is just our prediction, not what we want. Well, some of us want probably as well, but I just necessarily because we have six people with six different opinions and different tastes. So that's all my point. What do you think? How does your ranking look like? Leave your thoughts below in the comment section. I will see you in the next video.